Well, good afternoon, Denise. Hey guys, Jeremy from RV Dog Venture. Welcome to Plumbing Week here at RV Dog Venture. I'm gonna put in a new kitchen faucet. This thing, again, kind of flimsy. It's all plastic, uh, and it's actually been leaking lately. All right, so first things first. How am I gonna get to this faucet? So I removed a drawer here and um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to the plumbing from back there. So probably gonna have to go in from underneath. There's another drawer down there, down here. I'm gonna remove that drawer and see if I have to get through that way. Um, this could get interesting. I'm not a small man. All right, remove the drawer down here. Apologize for uh, the noise in the background. My neighbor is mowing. And uh, I've never opened up this drawer. So uh, a little dirty under here. But anyways, looks like I'll be able to get to the plumbing up there. Yeah. This is where I again remind you, I am not a small man. All right, I'm in here, and I'm trying to get these things unscrewed, and I'm making a little bit of headway. All right, it took some work, but I did get it out. I was able to reach a little bit more from here, and also from another drawer under here to get it out, so I've got it removed, and now to uh, go find a replacement. All right, guys, so after the last video when I took the faucet out, um, just had some stuff come up wasn't able to uh, get a new faucet in place before the weekend so I ended up putting the old faucet back in um, so that we could use the the RV this past weekend and um, one thing that happened during the weekend was I realized how much water we use when we wash dishes and so I decided I really wanted to try to find a faucet with a pull-out um, sprayer so that we wouldn't have to fill up the sink with water. We could just spray things down and, and use a lot less water. And so I ended up ordering something um, off of Amazon. And this is a uh, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is the brand and this is a chrome hybrid kitchen pull out faucet <clears throat> it's got the two mounting options either the the one hole or the two hole or three hole excuse me ours is the three hole which i think most rvs probably are and i was a little nervous about what the fittings were going to look like and how this was all going to fit together but um i took it out of the box today and um i think it's going to be pretty straightforward uh, knock on wood uh, but essentially what you do is um, you've got three hoses that come out you've got the cold water hose which is uh, labeled and then the other one obviously is hot water so these are the two that are going to connect to the hot and cold water that come to the sink then you've got another hose that comes down and this is the one where I guess what must happen is inside this mechanism the hot and cold water are mixed and then they're sent back out through this hose, which then is connected to this hose, which runs up into the, <laughs> not sure if I'm explaining this very well, runs up into the sprayer mechanism, so you can then pull it out in and out. Um, and the connection to it looks pretty straightforward. The instructions that came with it are actually pretty poor, <laughs> um, but I just kind of looked this over and. Um, uh, like I said it, it's pretty straightforward and I've never really done any plumbing work before at all so um, still gonna be interesting to uh, be able to get in that space uh, it was harder to get that faucet put back in than it was to take it out originally so I got to go back through that process um, but uh, we'll see how it goes all right so I did figure out after my last attempt at this that I can actually reach 
these fittings from within this drawer and it's not the easiest thing in the world but um, it's easier than trying to crawl into that small space and even when I was in that small space I couldn't reach everything so we'll see how this goes. So a quick look at what this looks like when you pull this out obviously there's the two um, valves that the uh, hot and cold water go into so hot goes here cold goes here in the new one um, hot will go into this cold will go into this one um, then like I said I believe the water gets mixed up here comes back down this hose into this one and then out the the uh, spigot all right so one thing that's definitely different about this that I didn't notice is the old faucet only had two holes there's no hole in the middle and this one needs to go through a hole in the middle so what's gonna have to happen is uh, I'm gonna have to drill a hole through the counter for this to go into and then the way it'll work is this will go over it there will be a hole in the middle that the uh, plumbing mechanism will go into and then everything else will connect as normal thing is I have to put these uh, these bolts into the um, holes the previous holes and they will get screwed in from the bottom with these but first I'm going to connect the water and make sure we don't have any leaks sink again you know and I'm wondering if I should have just taken this sink out but uh, anyway here we are so I'm under the sink again because I need to get these uh, PEX pipes to move a little bit in order to allow the um, the lines for the faucet to come down <laughs> All right, so next thing, sorry, a little sweaty after crawling under that tiny space that, uh, if I didn't mention it before, isn't built for guys my size. But anyway, uh, moment of truth now is to uh, I just noticed I forgot to put this on. Which means I have to undo everything that I just did, put that on, and then redo it. <laughs> 